Our goal at Aviator and our mission is always to inspire people to live life, to, to live adventure, and to kind of get outside the box. And one of the things that we're trying to do with that is uh, create a video on how to get into ground handling and kiting a glider. Now we're going to talk about a few things, starting with the paraglider itself. We're going to talk about its anatomy, we're going to talk about how it all fits together, we're going to talk about the harness, we're going to talk about how to put everything on, and we're going to talk about how to clip ourselves into the wing, also known as a glider. Run forward, watch that wing tip as it comes up, keep leaning forward, keep that pressure, moving forward, more speed. The wing's moving left, I'm gonna move left with it. It's overhead, I'm releasing the A's. I'm moving my hands down to control position. And now I'm gonna add a little more speed, wingtip, wingtip, forward. Wingtip, wingtip, forward. If you get to this position right here on day one, you should be very proud. This is a very good thing. All right, so first things first, little league field. We'll see from the drone here in just a moment just how much there is that could get in your way. But I wanna walk you through a few of the obstructions, the things to keep in mind as you are considering any baseball field. We've got lots of rotor producing or mechanical turbulence producing objects that wind will be hitting. The gust factor plays a much bigger role in what that air is gonna feel like than the actual steady state wind. And as I'm running forward, these lines are going to tension and inflate. I'm going to keep those hands out and back and resist the urge to push them forward. It's going to change the way that you look at the sky, which will help you develop that sixth sense and understand how the weather works. I'd be able to reach back, gently inflate this wing, providing those lines tension, letting that glider inflate, letting it climb up and fill with air. As I'm doing that, I can start checking my leading edge, start checking my trailing edge. Top riser, the riser closest to me, gets pushed across. One, two. And in my hand, they're even. My second hand comes up to meet, but not hold. And now right here, I'm in position to, to launch, but I want to make one more change. That change is going to be taking a step left of center, which as you can see, tightens those left, the, the lines on that side. And then as I move back, it's nice and smooth inflation. He'll move his body to the left, stepping left of the course to make the wing move right, and then he'll follow the wing. Because as we talked about before, the wing is your dance partner and you're the girl in the situation here. You want to let it lead you. So you'll initiate the turn by moving your body opposite and then follow it through the turn. And you'll do the same thing for the next two turns through the S's. It's important to remember that speed is life, speed is control. Close my eyes, take a deep breath. I know it sounds silly, but it makes such a difference. We want to keep that in our heads, that <sighs> calm. Remember that what we do is difficult and there isn't a single professional pilot out there or any professional ground handler who didn't initially struggle with these basic skills. Through perseverance and patience, you can and will pick up the skill and it is something that will become fun and even therapeutic to you.